Oh. Uh, all right, guys. This is the OG Slinger, and with me today, I have Gamble. Hello, everybody. And Arthas. Yo. And we are going to hit some Mott and Steel Path and talk some shit about Warframe. What's up, guys? How you been? You can't complain, sir. Glad to be back. All good. All good. So I'm going to be running uh, Excalibur Prime because people expect that. It's not that I play <laughs> Excalibur Prime all the time, guys. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> but I will play it for this video. <clears throat> you want me to? You want us to go over our setups also? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, running Nidus Prime, uh, Zeus Prime, Hystrix Prime, and Dual Icor with a Panzer. Seems tanky enough, even for Steel Path. I brought a Savagoth with Exceltra, Piranha Prime, and Vitrica with a Smedicavat. I, <laughs> drops, though. I'm running the Vobophila, the Panzer, and I've got a new Czar build with a new Riven today. Um, the uh, Broken War with a Riven, and... Um, the uh, secondary is the uh, new core. Oh, I'm also using um, Hunt. Subsumed. Okay. And I switched up my, because um, I don't have enough Umbral Formas on this guy. Uh, my rolling guard's full up, but my adaptation's down. So I'm going to be in a little bit bad situation just for the first 10 minutes and then after that i should smooth it out hey all good i gotta stack myself too whoops damn that was fast <laughs> that was really much faster than expected <laughs> what but it's okay thank you <laughs> no problem <laughs> that's the best three po pro players we're all gonna go down Did you guys uh, got to take a look on the 2022 stats already? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I saw that. I was going to ask you about that with the Piranha Prime. I'm like, hmm, maybe somebody's trying something out. Because that weapon isn't really current meta, though it's strong as all get out. Yeah, I brought both the Exceltra and the Piranha Prime because of that. I was trying to kind of understand why they're so high on the, the ranks on the list there. For me, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but... So, okay. the Exceltra, I love. It's got an ammo issue, clearly. Somebody's running Gloom. Thank you. Um, oh, you got Savagoth. Um, the Exceltra has an ammo issue, but it's it's a great little weapon, man. I love it. Just, uh, I think a lot of that thing, too, is that these guys aren't playing Steel Path Survivals. Okay. The, um, if you go in with like a carrier with the Exceltra, you can boost up the um, the ammo. And, oh, uh, and it'll be able to maintain? Yeah, yeah. But you can't do like survivals on Steel Path uh, for more than like 10 minutes. You know what I mean? Because your carrier, carrier will get destroyed. And um, have, have you tried using the uh, hard reset mod? Uh, yeah, you know I have. Um, you you recently told me how to cheat that baby, um, but yeah, before I've been then using I the didn't Zachty know. To meme it. Yeah. The other weapon, though, I don't know. You know. What the uh, the Exeltra? No, the Exceltra is the one I, I I can see why it being so popular for for intermediate players, especially, and that's who where you're gonna get the stats from. There's got to be some interaction with like going like corrosive or viral, and maybe the uh, pistolier mod I could see maybe being a thing. Like once you get the uh, full auto alt fire, right? The second one. I can see there being something particularly nasty with that. Like, once you get a headshot, you can just murder. Because the multi-shot is pretty heavy on those weapons. Hmm. 
and you just mow stuff down with like a raw damage build. I already least... started to thinking about level cap and that the Excelter actually got requested one of these days. So I was it's, thinking how it's to pretty to yummy it. weapon, dude. At least uh, the build I got on it. I love it. I put it with my Baruch because of the ammo. It's a it's a great weapon. Uh no, not, yeah, is it Baruch I use it with? Yeah, I think so because I you know with Baruch, I'm not gonna be using a lot of weaponry. But when I do, you know what I mean? It's a nice one. Goes good with them. Okay, I got a question. How would you think a internal bleeding build would work on him? On the Exceltra? Because it's impact only on the main fire, right? It has, and, can... and it has guaranteed impact procs on the, the hit. The problem is the fire rate. Uh, internal bleeding needs to be below that yeah. threshold to really... Yeah, yeah the that's the problem. But don't you yeah. have the... Uh, you have the vault mod, right? But then you also have um, the Exilus one also that slows your fire rate way down, too. I think that you probably need a Riven to get below the threshold, to be really honest. I gotta take a look. I think it, the base uh, fire rate is probably like 12 or something. Oh, jeez. So, okay, yeah, never mind. Let's see. Yeah, base fire rate is 12. It's gonna be kind of hard to get it down and uh, uh like down enough to get to the threshold yeah that's fair and the hunter munition also gives you the possibility of getting a, a slash proc from the explosion so yeah, yeah. that's another it's kind of hard to say because some weapons just work better with uh with the hunter munition or the internal bleeding like the kuva chakur yeah. I think I got this. Let me see. Yeah. You got it? Yeah. I really wanted to take, like, Savag off the level cap, but... Poor boy is just... So easy to kill, <laughs> sadly. <laughs> hey, if you can make him work, let me know, dude. Because I was just that's really weird because I was using different, <clears throat> I like to like use different warframes, you know, that I haven't used a lot. And I was just working on a build yesterday and this morning for Sevagoth. I'm not near done though, so. If you guys have any pointers, I will take them. Yeah. I want to refund about... my Umbral Forma. <laughs> 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 yes, make it cushy. I'm thinking about maybe shield gating might be the way to go. How would you shield gate with him? I thought he had long casts. Mmm... Like I, know, I know a shadow has quick ones, right? Like the uh, where you yeah. can throw out the shadow. The the thing would be around rolling guard and shoot getting, probably. Throw a throw a condemn on him. <laughs> True. Works for most things. Such a comfy build. I'm not gonna lie. Really, for me, is one of the coolest frames, but just making him, getting him to work and not dying, uh, that's the problem. See, for I've, me, at least. I've always thought of him as like a giant Muppet looking character. Bro? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. 
No, I get it. He sort of has his own style, and he's very difficult to fashion. Dude, this rolling guard up helps me out a lot <laughs> compared to yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. least when I go and roll I'm getting you know what I mean when I need it my shield gate well it's got to be so comfy right you've got like multiple oh shit buttons yes I love that <laughs> I love that my get out of free oh shit button cards condemn rolling guard shield gating that's <laughs> that's a pretty safe build <laughs> what can I say I um I don't like losing. Yeah. It's like um the only thing bad is that, you know, if you're a young player that the mods I have on my setups are kind of unreachable. So And now I've got prime sure footed on them, which is just another comfort zone. It's all about enjoyment. Wait, who is he attacking? Is he not attacking? Oh, you got him! You roped him with your nidus, dude! <laughs> He can't. Until he does his little dash. I can't I can't damage him because of your rope. Oh, is he immune? No, he's now he's going down. He's going down. Yeah, I took it off. I took it off. <laughs> I forgot to bring you Naru. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was some good times. So, um, Arthas, did you watch the uh, dev stream? Kind. I was actually watching before we started here. Oh, yeah. Was that a huge disappointment or did you love it? <laughs> uh, what even to say about that? Sexy New Loki Warframe? isn't real. <laughs> what? Can't, sexy Loki isn't real. He can't hurt you. I know. I love, dude, I was like, that sexy Loki is way better than what they got going on with the gauze and Meg love child. Yeah. <laughs> Did they even showcase any of her abilities? No. It's probably, that's probably going to be pushed back too. <laughs> but it, okay. she's like a support frame, right? Yeah. That, that's what Pablo said. Well, yeah, I mean, supposedly it's, that's what they're thinking, but it, I don't think it's even set in stone either, you know? I think she looks like uh, Atlas Deluxe wife. I've heard that already. <laughs> I have heard She's that. She's a geode. She's literally minerals. Yeah, that, I think that's a pretty interesting thing. Yeah. <laughs> Not... It's gonna be a new game mode, right? A new defense mission. On Zuni. Man, I'm not even sure, to be honest. On <laughs> Zuni. Everybody was like, are you kidding me? Zuni? It's an old tile set. Like, obviously, you guys played it, right? Yeah. Zuni is an uh, interception on a. Uh... Well, they're adding new game modes, though. Yeah, it's that old Corpus. Uh defense node that got wiped when they did the uh, corpus the new corpus update the tile set update god why isn't this guy attacking me 
Where is he? Uh, right here. He gone. Oh, and I have shards on my, uh, on my, um, Excal, too. He sharded. Oh, I always meant to ask, can you build another prime? No. So there's only one, right? Yeah, so the next one's going to be Umbral. Which is so fine. There's no, so there's no way for you to do, like, multiple builds. No, just um, just your lo you know what I mean. Just your loadouts. You can just change them. So okay, but yeah, you're right. Cause I thought about that at one point. Like, there's no way to um to do that. One thing that we should be able to do, uh, completely out of subject. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was here just swiping stuff and thinking, oh, this should be possible. To go into operator mode while you're in the shadow form with this thing. Oh, can you not do that? No, you go back to the to normal, normal mode and then you enter operator. You know something that's stupid but unique you could do, Slinger? What? You could put a hundred forma on your Excal Prime. A <laughs> hundred yeah. forma? Just yeah. to say I've done a hundred formas? On Excalibur Prime. <laughs> it would be the ultimate flex, because it's like, oh, somebody else can't even match you, right? Like... Right? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, why not? <laughs> I've thrown away money on the other things, so. I think it wasn't it like Ray Taylor's that put like a thousand forma on a Valben or something like that. Yeah, something that poor bastard. <laughs> Wouldn't I mean, you be like the the pit of all jokes though? You know. I mean, I think everybody has a good sense of humor about stuff like that. Yeah. And I know, to be honest, I know a couple of people where if they come out with like, or if they find they like, oh, they really have a. They find their main, if you will. Yeah. They'll they'll do like there's a reason I have so many Nezhas, and I'm about to build my third Baruch Prime. Like there's a reason for it. I enjoy the frames, right? Yeah. But I there was a guy that was a Guandao Prime main, which is seems kind of weird to me. But listen, everybody do their own thing, right? <laughs> but he had a thousand forma Guandao Prime and he built a hundred regular Guandaos. What? Yeah, he built a hundred Guandaos. Um, so the idea of dropping a hundred forma into like whatever your main is, if you find it, I graze too much to do something like that, but I build a ton of frames. Yeah, you do. You build more than me. Well, it's all about the flexibility. Eventually, you don't want to crowd the build too much, and it's just while they're in vault, <clears throat> it's you know it's free. It only no, I've I've got that. like three volt primes, so at, I've got at some... two Nejas. um, or Neja primes. Um, is it? Wait. Now I'm confused. Is it Neja or Neja Prime? There is a Neja Prime, right? Yeah. Yeah, Neja Prime then. Also, depending on your builds, if usually you're building for very specific stuff like Steel Path, you if you change one polarity, one of your builds is going down. Yeah. yeah absolutely. And then it's easier to just make another frame than to keep 
for my in a I do wish that I had another um another prime version but I mean um let's face it um Umbra is pretty much an upgrade to um to uh Excalibur Prime you know so you think so yeah I like mean, stat wise he is I think they're they're identical stat wise but the um the way that they slash is a little different angle um there's um when you get out of uh Excalibur Prime he doesn't keep fighting and yeah. Umbra does, you know what I mean? And one's got Howl, and the other one's got... Um, <clears throat> Radial uh, Javelin or something like that. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, there's little little differences, but I mean, the cool factor, I, I think that the updated look of Umbra is pretty cool. Um, but... A, those prime weapons, though. The Founder's weapons we were talking about. That right, which I don't have, yeah. Arthas, have you ever looked at the Prime Scott and Prime Lotto? Yeah. How does a 30% uh, crit chance, 2.6 crit multiplier on a slash-weighted pistol sound to you? What? <laughs> yeah, go the... look at the Prime Lotto. <laughs> really? Ooh. I didn't it's even know the... he got he stung me with status. I didn't even know he was here. Sucker. Oh, you bubbled. Sorry. Yeah, I, I I got bubbled. I'm out. Nope. You're good. You're good. Yeah, it's seventy percent slash waiting on the pistol. Seventy percent slash waiting on the uh, Scana Prime. But here's the messed up thing: the dispo for it. Both of them are like one point two, one point one. <laughs> So it's the strongest single shot pistol in the game, and it's not even close. Wow. Bad thing you can't, you can't even link them, right? What do you mean? Link them on uh, the chat? No. Actually, let me check. Well, well it doesn't maybe... show up in your codex unless you've had, unless you own it, right? Yeah, you can't link them. Maybe Slinger can link them or or, or not. No, I or can't because I I don't own them. Oh, okay. Because I I got the founder pack that had Excalibur, not the weapons. Oh, got it. Yeah. So there were like three different, right? Actually, four. Gamble checked last night while we were hanging out. So yeah, there was like a cheap one where it was like you're just trying to support the game. Because remember, it was one like I can't even say it's like when Warframe was in beta, right? Like because it's still technically <laughs> it's always going to be in beta but there was an announcement that it wasn't but sure or hmm. i guess early access beta or whatever so there was a like support the developers bundle and then there was the excal prime bundle and then there was the excal um scana prime bundle and then there was the one where it was all three and the one with all three was 250 dollars and even though I could have bought it, um, there's no way in hell I would have. Uh, there, it's $250 for a Prime Access. It went down in price, though. Yeah, true. So, like, what they what they said the first week was the $250 thing. I think it went down to um, $150 later. I thought it was. I thought it started at like five hundred. The like the. Oh, the maybe that. Maybe one. you're right. Maybe it was five hundred, and then it went down to two fifty. I'm really not sure. I just. I just think I saw something. I'm, I'm, I might be completely wrong. You know, it's ten years ago, so I was there, and I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sad thing, I, I didn't even heard about the existence of Warframe until 2014. I had no idea the game even existed. Oh, really? It yeah, was a small I, community I, back then. I mean, we're still small, but it was incredibly small. I was just playing World of Warcraft, like, for years. 
And then all of a sudden, one of our friends, she was like, Oh, guys, take a look at this game. It's called Warframe. It's a space ninja. It's super fun. It's free to play. And I can't wait to get my Mag Prime. And I'm like, what the hell is even a Mag Prime? What's everything? How do I get this? And then I started looking at the trailers. Oh my god, the game looks amazing. But then I logged in and like, there was a frame just kneeling at the main page getting into missions was weird i was always killing the same dudes doing the same stuff i'm like this game is kind of garbage <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then a year ba a year later i came back there was the the Lissette already uh, star charter was different you didn't have to drop your skills your to, to mod them yeah i quit yeah. in in late 2015 is when I left. Um, when they introduced syndicates and arc wings, like shortly after that, I left. Um, when I left, I was mastery 18, which was the highest you could be at that time. And then when I came back, there was all kinds of great stuff like steel path, rail jacks, um, rivens. There was rivens. Yeah. You know, like the game had really grown while I was gone. Who's he by, by the way? He's right by me. Oh, he's right by me. <laughs> oh man, I'll grab some air. I'll get some air. I'll get some air. Oh, he got me. All right, I'm here. I'm here. Uh, Link, thank you. I'm good. Where's he going? I don't know. Oh, he turned back around. Okay. There we go. So, I am going to say the new Melee looks pretty good. Oh, the uh, Ruby Gundam weapon? Yeah. I do think it what? looks pretty good. You know the animation Ruby? Where it started mm. out as like a comic strip? No. It, it's, a, it's like Gale, it's a, like Hespar. Hmm. Oh. But the heavy attack instead is a giant turns into a railgun plasma shot. What? Yeah. I looked at that and I'm like, if there's even an ounce of multiplicative scaling on that, it's going to be the best weapon in the game. They specifically didn't show the stats for it, where they showed that the sound... primary weapon. I was like, That's... that thing's probably fucking busted. <laughs> yeah, that sounds amazing. The animation's a little bit slow on the heavy, but it's actually probably the best thing I've seen in the dev stream. Other than yeah. Rhino skin, which was freaking amazing. Should have yeah, been a Warframe. Yeah, that was pretty cool, the bug. Yep. I was a fan. Alright, find an error. I'm going to pop another one. Gonna close the window real quick. Okay, I'm back. Damn it. I want that Umbra Forma for my last part. 
Thank you. No problem. I have my last shard for this. <clears throat> oh my god. I got it. You got it? Yep. Okay, because I'm beside you if you don't. Give me your loot, sir. That's a respawn point? That is a little wild. Yeah, to be honest, I really like the idea of the bug frame. I thought it was kind of weird that they sort of focused, and also, it's weird, but I'm kind of proud of the community that they identified a Warframe by its COD piece alone. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you look at that that skin for Rhino, right? Yeah. You're gonna assume it's a new frame. And it would have been yeah. an awesome beetle. Yeah, like an insect form, of, like an insect frame. Yeah, but the community was like, "No, his cod piece is shaped like rhinos. That's a skin." And I'm like, uh, "Okay, dudes, whatever." And they were right. And you know what though, um, De should have stated it was a skin. The way they did it, it was kind of obstinate. Yeah. So, there was no way to not be disappointed from that. Oh, I got a neck stretch, guys. Neck stretch bug. <laughs> Dude, look where at my... Yeah, I want to see Yeah, come, come to this air where I am. Look it. You look completely normal to me. Oh, okay. So it's just... That's it's, wild. Yeah. Well, watch the video. You'll see I'm not normal. <laughs> <laughs> Just clip that out of context. That would be so funny. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? But so me still. Yeah. <laughs> All right, where's he at? It's okay. I brought an arrow. Yeah, I've been trying to get better with that because it's like free armor strip. And then you have what yep. defense strip on the one with the void dash or whatever. Uh, it's a shield strip. Shield strip, and if you if you dash through the the <laughs> the edge, pretty much it increases the range. Oh, super cool! <laughs> Unira is like crack. <clears throat> You know, it's like it's crazy. Once you get you get to it, it's not like no going back. It's just so good. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I've really like since they redid the focus trees. I don't think I've taken it off of Zenerik. Like I just leave it on. I need to get better with Anaro. Besides, the extra armor is... I can feel the difference. The extra 200 armor. What should I, um, what should we call this, uh, video? Good question. Hey, we were talking about it yesterday. I think this could be like the start of like a really casual po podcast. Where it's just like an hour, like an hour in Mott with Slinger or something like that. <laughs> and you just play Excal Prime. It'd be a weird precedent. But it's not like many people could duplicate it, right? 
Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah at least that. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, have that be like the pretense where you bring on players with like unique perspectives or something like that. Yeah. Or just people to shoot the shit with. Yeah. Oh my god, there's so many enemies in this corridor. I literally can't walk through it. That's wonderful. Perfect for Anitis. Yeah, stacks galore. For yeah, Anitis. no, I really like. It feels like the pop, the enemy density has gone up the past couple of patches. Because mm -hmm. there was a game that I did or a mission that I did with a couple of people from the clan. And we got to like seven and a half thousand kills an hour. And I've never seen it go that high before. Like you can do 6K, right? Like you can do 6K. It's, that's obviously a pretty good pace. But like seven and a half thousand is getting into the enemies basically spawning and immediately dying territory. So it feels like they've done something with the game logic on, like, spawning. And I am all for it. Ooh, I got spare parts. So are you thinking about maybe making this a series or just something to if you guys if you guys don't mind i mean <clears throat> hey it's your it's your video dude you can name it whatever you want i um yeah you know i don't make money from my youtube and i never i never will it's just a hobby so it's kind of nice to get a little bit of notoriety you know but hey listen i i wouldn't say no to free money i <laughs> There's a reason I basically stopped streaming on, like, Twitch. Yeah. In the four months that I've been doing YouTube, just, like, the casual ad revenue, I've made more doing YouTube that I haven't done, and then have done doing Twitch for a couple years. And it's nice passive income. It's just... At least it's a tank of gas, right? Uh, yeah, sure. Tank of gas. Well, no, but I'm saying, like, it, it, the payout on it is at least a tank of gas. But, no, I'd be down. Oh, here he is. Oh, what is the deal? Which one is this one again? I for oh he's no he's still in the wall. Oh, hold on. There we go. Is he transforming? Yeah he yeah, is. Yeah, he Damn he's it. Stuck in iframes. I can't even get out of my frame to strip him. Cat off violence is usually worse than violence. Yeah. <clears throat> this, uh, like, misery, the way the, the shadows just, they get their shields back, it's kind of nuts. <laughs> their shield regen is, seems, feels much, I mean, it's much better for them, but much worse for us. <laughs> Yeah, that shield regen. Good for you. But fuck you at the same time. Like... <laughs>
That is a hefty slash proc there. On the shadow. Is that all yeah. base damage or is because you can't do acolyte mods, right? Wow, oh, good question. I don't even remember it. It's been a while since I've made this build, but I have to take a look. But I don't think it, it gets like a lot of uh, different mods and stuff. It it's pro probably doesn't have, cannot like equip the. Yeah, I said acolyte probably like the blood rush and all that all that stuff, right? I don't think it can use those. Or am I wrong? Can it take advantage of the glad set? Or maybe like an Avenger build? I think Avenger it can. I can actually, I think I can take a look on that. One way you can look your loadout during your mission, you can actually open up Overframe and go for your loadout there. Really? Yep. I think it, I'm using Gladiator Might, Viral, Vicious Frost, uh, Violent Scourge, True Steel, Organ Shatter, and Carnus Mandible. Okay. So I think I probably cannot use, like, the combo mods. Not really sure. Or maybe I just built, didn't build for it. Oh, the shit, the that's trip. us. We gotta get some oxygen here. It's such a nice frame, such a cool theme, but... Kind of weird. <laughs> and a lot of forma. And a lot of forma. A ton of forma. <laughs> They could at least allow us to when we subsume the frames to actually get back some forma that we, we had on them. That would be nice. Yeah. <clears throat> not gonna happen. Probably not. <laughs> but here's to wishing, right? Yeah. Now that uh, I watched your, I think it was your last video gamble where you talked about the steel, what to use steel essence on. And I think oh. now that we can already talk about the, the Sero Fang. <laughs> <laughs> you, talked, you talked about the ribbon on your video, so I think we can talk about it now. <laughs> please, be, please be gentle. <laughs> All right, so yeah, it's Sero Fang. <laughs> And I also have two different ribbons with a ton of rolls on them too, so. It's an investment in the future. <laughs> <laughs> I was really, really thinking about that, but I, I still haven't got it, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna. <laughs> it is really a unique, unique ribbon. That's a I very a unique, polite way to say. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Like, I it's mean, like it's, it's going it to require a very specific ribbon, and that's the part that sucks. Look, the thing, I mean, if they were to rework the way the, the, the whole pooling stuff and the uniqueness of the weapon would work, then it would be a, an amazing weapon. It could really be an amazing weapon, but having to spend combo to pull enemies together doesn't feel really good. Yeah, no, I get that. That's part of the reason why I wanted the um, the specific ribbon, right? Is it needs attack speed, um, range, and minus impact. And ideally, it needs enough negative impact on it, which basically forces you to get a three positive, right? 
in order to get the impact off. And then you have to look at what the weightings are going to be then. So ideally, it would want to be something like minus impact, attack speed, range, with like heavy attack efficiency. Right? Where it's like damage and like utility or maybe like crit chance on it. Because when I was testing it out, if I could get on a heavy attack ground slam, right? For, to get the slash procs on it with uh, Relentless Combination, I was getting my full combo back. Mm. And plus, the thing is, is if you can get attack speed... Let's see. If you can get the attack speed on the Riven, the weapon has so much attack speed as is. Ah! Why does he have my number? You don't need... Thank you. No problem. Uh, oh, he's dead. Oh, God, these assholes. Oh, they were gloomed. I thought it's like, oh, man, more shadows. Um, so that's the philosophy behind it. But the fact is, is the weapon has 50%. We need, we need air, too. Yeah. I'm heading over there. The weapon has so much attack speed, you can almost not mod for it. So it it's something where it's like an investment in the future, because um, nobody's going to use that weapon. Like what you said with the heavy attack, I'm probably not even going to be using that. But it's got enough weighting where um, <clears throat> it will permanently be ahead, disco wise, once it gets rebalanced of something like say the Grand Prime, because the Grand Prime is like the correct weighting and it's got the crit chance and the status chance, right? So if you were to get something where you could um, get the impact off, the weighting won't be an issue anymore. And the Seraphang will have better IPS weighting than the Gram, or like comparable. I think it, actually, now that I say it, I think it's like half, a, like a one and a half percent slash weighting less than the Gram Prime. So that, it, it fixes itself and you'd be able to take off the impact. I see. But I, I do like speed on it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is that's the thing I like. The biggest thing, is, um, the biggest thing is that the the attack speed is so high. Because like the gram has what, point nine something, point eight something. Well, the Seraphang has a one point one seven. It, it's significantly higher. You don't need to double attack speed it like you do with the gram where you need to run like gladiator vice and um run like you don't need to run like gladiator vice and uh like berserker to get it to feel proper right if you're doing like a quick attack build yeah to be honest so, i'm not even a, a big fan of using the attack speed mods i just i prefer using arcane strike but at the same time, you're, you're going to lose some damage if you use against or can strike. Yeah. So Dude. it's just compared with how cheap it is, it's more of a plat efficiency purchase. It's eventually going to have like a god roll that's really saucy, like the uh, like the Masseter. Oh. I got it. Oh. Are you good? I yep. got the pet. Okay, because I'm right beside you. Are you sure you're good? Uh, one. Got it. All right. Thank you. No problem. Yeah, it's not going to get boosted up to like a like a A rank weapon or what, like a where it's just it's so overpowered. But the fact is, is like I really enjoy my master. That one took a bunch of rolls to get a the negative and the uh, the stats that I wanted, but I got something usable now. It's pretty solid. Even did the same thing on the uh, split dark sword. Got the impact off of it. So when I'm doing like a disruption run and want to do melee, I'm only dealing slash to demolish. So.
It's gonna be really strong in like two patches though, because nobody's gonna use that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to agree. Yes. No one uses it. That's like, logic I, I, you can't really argue with. <laughs> like, the like rivets I, are going to be insane in a, in a <laughs> rivet dispo adjustment or two. I took that to level cap once and then I never touched it again. Yeah, I can imagine. I saw it and I was like, you know, you always manage to get that stuff done, but I looked at it and I was like, he's being really, really generous with it, but I can tell he doesn't like this weapon that much. Yeah. Like the the whole theme, the, the how the weapon works, like it really reminds of a weapon from World of Warcraft. So for me, it feels really cool, but cool doesn't make good. And that's how it goes. And then, no, sadly, no. No, I get it. I'm I'm a big fan of the quick attack builds, and it's just it's been, um, there aren't many heavy attack blades or heavy blades that feel good using like a quick attack build on it because the the entire like weapon stance and like the weapon category generally have really low attack speeds because i mean they're heavy blades right like it's not going to be like a cronin or something like that or a prados like especially when you have stuff like the incarnon weapons where they like the prados literally has on incarnon mode a 40 percent attack speed bonus and one of the evolutions is like 20 percent attack speed like you almost don't even need to mod for attack speed like maybe throw vice on or something you know like so having a heavy blade finally be like a good good weapon it it might be a little bit of copium as they say but i i hope it does its thing cuz nobody's going to use that and there's plenty of stuff that's like riven wise is really really strong hold on where's this red guy at but i tether him there we go. Heal me. So it's just... It's me looking forward for something in the, the stance, or in the uh, weapon category that's enjoyable to use. But it's not going to be for everybody. Everybody has, like, their favorite weapon, and that's... Oh, part yeah. Of the no doubt. Part of the joys of Warframe. Oh, do you want me to res? I got it. Okay, because I'm right beside you, too. What is hap- I might have to- Gotcha. Yeah, I'm gonna need a rest. I I- There's something going on. Maybe I cannot hit enemies that are close to a ancient. I'm not sure. Or maybe I'm, I'm just bad. No. <laughs> No. <laughs> when I play with you guys, I'm always like, oh, man, those guys are so good, man. Do I even measure up in their league? Hey, there's no leagues in Warframe, dude. It's a PvE yeah. game. We were talking about this before. It's like you're beating up ones and zeros, my dude. Yeah. Warframe really doesn't have a stuff like a skill issue. Yeah, it's, just, it's more like a build issue. That's all. True. Well, I do notice when I don't play a build for a while, I'm and I'm cold. I can get my ass whooped, even if I consider it to be an awesome build. Yeah. But that's just maybe me. Well, you're gonna be uh, rusty, right? Yeah. Especially if you play a, a frame that has super cheesy mechanics and you, you, you start getting, like, enemies call you lacking, then you're dead. Yeah. If you play Revenant for too much, you're going to get caught lacking with any other frame. Oh, yeah. Just yeah. Because, That's yeah, true. To survive so much is unbelievable. Like, because with this, with this build, it's not super sweaty, but you have to play. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You can't do what I'm using, where I'm just permanently three linked to enemies and just the face tank build. Oh, where's he at? There, there's that. What do you guys think the next, like the the new mission could be? How how could it in they increment the defense mission? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm optimistic. Um, I'm glad that our other video kind of got um, technical issues because I was in a pretty bad mood after watching the dev stream. But I am optimistic about Warframe as a whole. Um, I do think there's, they do need to make some changes in the way they treat their fans. But yep. I do think that Warframe does have a future. And how many games have you played that have been around for 10 years that are still, you know, making updates and working forward, you know? Yeah, true. And it's free to play. Yeah, and it is not pay to win, you know? Like, if you want to pay to win a Warframe, you are an idiot. That's a bad decision. You We're could... about that pay to look good around here. Right, right. Pay to ease the grind, possibly, yes, but not not pay to win. Pay to fast, maybe. Only That's the only thing. Yeah. Man, you guys killed everything. Just going for a nice walk. I found an enemy. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. You need your stacks. No, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. I was, I was at max stacks, but it's just like all of the enemies disappeared. I was like, oh, they're probably dead. That was a pretty good decision, though. Nidus in here. You got lots of I, lots of buffet. I wish I had brought more range. I I only have one forty five on this. Not exactly ideal. There's that uh that big open map or the uh, big open tile set. That's the uh, ESO tile from here. Mm -hmm. You can actually run like two, I think it, you need like two fifty range, and you can literally CC the entire tile. Just as soon as wow. they walk out onto the platforms, you just knight us the center in that middle platform, and everything just gets sucked in. It's actually pretty cool. There you go, bro. You heal me. Oh. <laughs> Got it. Forgot about the umbilical cord there. You good? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I forgot about the, the, the link to I was spanking a, a, a random dude, a random mansion at some point. I'm like, what is this? Isn't this dude dying? And I'm like, ah, oh, he's connected to someone. And that makes sense. Yeah umbilical cord actually you want to want to go god mode link up to me you ever do that you want me to do it and yeah. you can recast your uh four for the power strength actually oh. hold on i forgot to boost you guys here i am running around just enjoying playing the game and i'm not playing like a proper support okay Okay, there you go. Are you using your four at all? No. Uh, okay. I'm just um, I'm using my three mainly because of the damage. Hey, Arthas, are you getting the uh, ninety to five percent gloom? 
Oh, let me see. I got no. I actually, got sixty three percent now. Let All me right, recast see. Because it. it snapshots, right? Eighty percent. I think it does. Yeah, the reality of a. <laughs> Sit here talking. Planes to never got. Thank you. No problem. I need to put. I need to change this build and get Ian mode augmented and some more bar strength. Do you need it? I'm pretty sure I have the standing right now to just go buy one. No, I, I just I just forgot to put in. I have a. I have all them. And I did, didn't even uh, choose a subsume to bring here. It's kind of. Say I've forgotten the new frames. Don't you guys think they have such a. Uh, uh, com let's say a complementing kit that it's kind of hard to to know what to take out to put something else. Yeah, no, I like that though. Wait, what am I like though? He deflected my link. Oh, he's iframed. framed yeah, There we go. Man, he can bust bust out of those fast. That's annoying. Okay, hold on. Let me cast my strike, sir. I want to armor strip you there. Oh! I was going for the support. Too late. Uh, big rip. Hmm. Oh, I need somebody. I got gotcha. you. Going? No, I'm not. Oh, God. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I thought it was resing you. I, had, I saw the thing to press the button. Oh. All right, let me grab a stack real quick. Yes, sir. It's Dude, I am getting fried. Yeah, we haven't had life support for like four minutes now. <laughs> oh, crap. Really? Yeah. I didn't even know. All since right. Before, since before the guy spawned. I'm like, why Why am I going down? This is so random. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not because we're playing together and this is normal for me and Gamble. <laughs> yeah. Running our mouths. <sighs> All right, Dang. well, that was pretty good. I guess we'll end up um, heading to extraction. <laughs> oh, you guys are there. <laughs> <laughs> just got here, just got here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm slowly making my way. <laughs> All right, do my finish up. All right, guys, this has been fun. Thanks for hanging out with me for uh, almost an hour. It was a little more. We had to stay and get the steel lessons, of course. <laughs> yeah. go roll the Seraphang ribbon. <laughs> awesome. All right, so let's do this again maybe next week if you guys have time. Yeah. I'd be done. All right, awesome. All right, guys, this is our video. We're going to get out of here and... Go do clan stuff. Yeah, for sure. Okay.